you will learn how to use a custom domain name to access your Azure Container apps instead of using the standard FQDN, which is .azurecontainerapps.com. For that, we need to use a DNS zone in Azure, a custom domain name that we can create it inside the Azure portal, and a TLS or SSL certificate that will go to also generate it within the Azure portal in Azure Container Apps. Let's see how that works. Our end result should be an Azure Container Apps running inside a custom domain name like this one here, instead of running it within the standard FQDN, which uh, contains the name of the Azure region dot the uh, Azure Container Apps dot IO. So to do that, I start with the Azure portal. And first of all, I go to start by creating a new Azure Container Apps. I'll go to create a new one of type Container App, put it into a new resource group, and then specify a name for the Container Apps. Let's call it just ACA App. I want to deploy a container image, and then here specify the region and create a new environment. Let's call it just ACA.env and keep all the default configurations by default, create, and then move next to specify the container that will run inside this Azure Container Apps. I want to run a container from Docker Hub that is available as a public container. And this container is this one from JellyDrod slash inspector gadget, which will show you a sample web page that will show you information about the application, like the, its uh, IP address, the exposed port numbers, the HTTP headers, the environment variables, and many more. And then I'll move next to the ingress section where we go to enable ingress and make sure to enable accept traffic from anywhere. And then this container will be listening on port 80. So enable that and then go to review and create. create. This will take a few seconds to create the container app. So let's move to another page here where, where we'll go to create a new Azure App Service domain. So I choose here Azure App Service domain. If you don't see it within your page, then you can just search for App Service domain, choose it, and then here go to create a new custom domain name within Azure. So you specify first a resource group, I'll put the same I have used it for container apps. And then here you choose your custom domain name. So .com domains are available. Make sure the domain you choose is available, which is not the case for this one. So I'll just change it. And now it tells me it's available. So I'm okay with that. I'll move next to the contact information where we should fill this information here. Once that's done, we go to review and decreate. And here it will show you that this custom domain name will cost you almost 12 US dollars per, uh, per year. But if you delete it in four days, then it will not cost you anything. So let's click create. And during the creation, you see that it will create the Azure App Service domain, but it will also create a DNS zone, a public DNS zone that will be attached and that will manage the uh, records for this uh, App Service domain. Great, let's give it some time. And let's go back to the Azure container apps that did create all the required resources right here. So I'll navigate to the resource group to view those resources. So from here, I can see the container apps, I'll go there. And from this URL, I can see that my container apps is running on this uh, uh, Azure container apps uh, FQDN. And now I'll start the customizing for that uh, custom domain name. So what I need to do here is go to custom domains. And then from here, go to add custom domain. We have three options for the uh, certificate. So either you bring your own certificate, you create it on your machine or you buy it from another uh, provider and then you upload it to the Azure portal or you can also upload it to a key vault or generate one in key vault and then import it into your container apps or you can just add it later or you can use this third option which is using a manager certificate that will be created by Azure container apps for free and it will be managed it means that it will be renewed automatically for you you don't need to do any action to renew it I'll continue with this option and then here I choose the domain name that I want to give to this container apps. And that's my .com domain that I purchased it earlier. And then to configure the host name records, we can either configure a record or C name. Well, I'll go to continue with a record so that I can have this uh, Apex domain uh, just using that to point to my Azure container apps. So here we have two configurations we need to do. The first configuration is creating an A record that will point to this 
public IP address, which is the public IP address for the Azure container apps. So this is what will enable the custom domain to reach this uh, container apps. So we need to do that configuration inside the DNS zone, the public DNS zone that was created as part of the Azure App Service domain. So I'll go navigate here to the resource group and from here I should see that uh, public DNS zone created. So I'll navigate there and then go to record sets. We can see that some pre-created records, but here I'll go to add this new record, which should have the name alt and then the type is a record and for the IP address should use this one, the public IP for the container apps environment. And then I should click create add once that record is added, we can see it right here. And now if I bring my terminal and run the command ns lookup, then my custom domain name, I should see that it will point to that public IP address. Great, so that's the first record you should add. The second record you should add here that will prove our ownership of that custom domain name. So we should create a txt record type that have the name asuid and that will have this value, this string right here. So let's create that. We'll go back to the DNS zone, add a new record. We call it asuid and then the type should be txt and we paste here the value for that string and then we click add. Once that configuration is done right here, I go back to the container apps and then I click validate so that Azure container app service here will go to validate that both records have been created and added to my public DNS zone. Once, that, once that's done, I should just click the other button here which is add. So this one will go to create the host name configuration within my Azure container apps. And once that finishes, it will go to generate the free managed certificate for me and then it will go to bind it to my container apps. This configuration might take up to 10 minutes. Once the binding succeeded, you can view right here the configuration and we can see here a certificate use it. And by the way, if now we navigate to the resource group to go to the Azure Container Apps environment, then we go to uh, certificates. We should see here from the manager certificate, a new certificate created for our custom domain name. And that's the one used by Container Apps. So this means now I can go to navigate to that custom domain name to access my Azure Container Apps directly. So you see here that domain is protected with HTTPS. And if I click on this icon on my browser, I should see here connection is secure and I can then view the generated uh, certificate. So here we have done all of these steps manually using the Azure portal. If you are looking for Amphra as code tools like Terraform to configure the custom domain name, then check out this uh, GitHub repository that will show you the Terraform code to achieve this result. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.